and it's always helpful to have a different perspective so okay uh, we'll, we'll go into this game so it's Volibear versus Jax and let's make this window mode uh, sound all right okay so if you've watched some of my other uh, coaching sessions I don't know if you did but the way I, I usually start my coaching sessions is to look at the things you can fix outside of the game such as the summoner spells your runes uh, and even sometimes the champion choice so in this case let's go over the champion choice why did you pick volibear I pick volibear because I see my team have a high AP and they have Dublin pick and I like Dublin pick volibear I don't know I think it's good at early I can get pressure and in team fight I can destroy the enemy team mm -hmm. okay so you said you like volibear because he has lane pressure and you can get maybe an early lead with that lane pressure and then during the team fights you are um, you can become really useful because you're a tank and you do a lot of damage right that's that's all good uh, okay so I like that uh, I like that explanation now let's take a look at the runes you chose you chose for volibear so you chose press the attack triumph legend bloodline last stand bone plating demolish Attack speed, attack damage, and 6 armor. Okay. Uh, and your summoner spell is teleport as usual. That's fine. Can you tell me why you took these these particular runes? Okay, I have seen many Bolivars and I think Prince the Duck have a few uh, early lead. You can basically one-shot the top lane enemy. Mm -hmm. And it, it gives a lot of damage when you try to run to bot. I mm -hmm. don't know, you get the turret, go to bot ult to the heavy carry and you can one shot him easily mm -hmm. the triumph obviously it gives you a healthy in team fight and i think it's good for any tank mm -hmm. bloodline is actually a uh, lane it's hard to heal against the jack so i need some of life steel because i will I, if i don't have this i will have low sustain and i can die okay uh, all right. What about last stand? Last stand, uh, I think Jax will, with Counter Strike, he will get my HP low, so I'll hit him when he just uh, use all the combo to me. I think it's the it's a good one, but I don't know if last stand is better than the other one. Mm -hmm. So the other ch two choices are Coop the Grace and uh, Cut Down, right? Yes. And you wouldn't really want to go Cut Down because you will be tankier than most people on the enemy team. So yes. the other real choice would be Coop the Grace, which means if the enemy gets below 40% health, you will do 8% more damage. Now, I do, I do like Last Stand. Uh, because, as you said, Jax might trade with you a lot and it will become a scenario where both of you are pretty low and Last Stand will give you that extra edge. That's that's good. I'm a little bit uh, not so sure about Legend Bloodline though. W what about uh, the other rune, uh, the one that gives you Tenacity? Tenacity is actually good, but I saw the enemy team have CC, obviously. But in lane phase, I think if I start engaging all the time to Jax, mm -hmm. if I try trade and trade, I will lose all the all my HP. I can heal by my W my W. Because mm -hmm. he's counter strike. I don't I can't uh, put the the effect. I think it's colored. Okay. My W my W I can heal myself so I have always low HP. I can heal Myself. Okay, all right. That's very good reasoning then. Okay, so your rune choices for this tree are totally fine then. Uh, bone plating and demolish. Now I don't have a problem with these two runes either, because uh, you know it's it's the standard top lane bruiser runes. If you wanna get ahead, you want to take demolish to be able to push the turrets quickly. So that's totally fine. Okay, 
So we have the things that we uh, can fix outside of the game already covered. I think you did a good job choosing the runes. So now let's get into the actual gameplay. Okay. Uh, so we'll speed this up a bit. So okay, wait. Uh, I'm a little, I'm a little bit confused here. Why did you uh, start Doran's Ring? Uh, I started Doran's Ring because it gives ability power and passive of Bolivar. It uh, scales a lot of AP. Mm -hmm. And uh, when mm -hmm. you use A, you can I mean E, the E the lighting, it uh, deals some more more damage. Okay. Alright then. Uh, do you know any other choices for first items on Volibear? Well, if you are matchup, match uh, you have matchup a uh, ranged one, you should go for Doran Shield. Mm -hmm. I don't know, against Kale, Vladimir, Timo, mm -hmm. but I like to start with Doran Ring because you can push the first wave fast, very fast, and the second one. Right, right. So that's that's very good. Alright then, so just standard start to the game. It looks like you guys are invading the blue blue buff. And Jax's yeah. wait. Actually we have to not look at Jax's perspective in order for this to work. Okay. Okay. And at this moment I think we can win two versus two. Lissin Bolivar versus Gragas Jax. Jax. I think we can win, so we decided to invade. Alright. Now you're going back to lane. I don't know if it's good, but I push every first wave. I push all it. I don't know. And if and if Jax goes to farm, I use A. E, I mean. Okay, so let, let's get this straight now. Every time you play a, any top lane matchup, you have to you have to uh, go into the game thinking: Should I push the first wave? Because that is the most important thing about the early game for top laners, right? If you decide to push this first wave, it means you're gonna hit level two first, right? And you're gonna hit level two first, which will give you more priority in lane. Um, but sometimes you don't want to do that, right? If it's a very hard matchup, there's no point in pushing the lane, right? And as you said, Jax is one of one of the hard matchups for you as Volibear, but why is it a hard matchup? Because I can stun him with my Q and my W can do anything. Both of his skills don't make any effect. Right. It's because of Jax's counter strike, right? Yes. So his counter strike, his E skill uh, blocks any type of auto attack based uh, ability. So your Q and your W are both auto attack based abilities. So uh, your Q will not stun him and your W uh, will apply on hit effects but it will not uh, damage him, right? Uh, actually it don't affect him and uh, the W make him wounded. It. I think wounded. Right. Um, so, mm -hmm. It doesn't have effect on him. Okay, alright. Uh, so if that is the case, do you want to push this wave now? I think yeah, because I have E, and, I, and with E, even if he counter strike me, I will win always the the one by one. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's that's very good that you've noticed that. Volibear level 1 is extremely strong, because as you said, the E gives him a shield, and it also applies like a, I think, 11% damage if you if you're able to land it and of course you also have press the attack which procs faster than conqueror uh, but you do have to be careful though right because after your E is gone and Jax will be able to stack his conqueror uh, his conqueror passive by key, by uh, continuously auto attacking you and you know he can then use his counter strike so yeah. let's let's see how this matchup uh, goes out first. I'm interested in seeing how this Jax plays. I use A. I hit him. I just go back. Right. My E slow him so I can just uh, dodge his counter strike. Mm -hmm. So this 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 really good. Um, as you said, 
it is okay to push the first wave because you do have a better level 1 than Jax. Um, but then it will get more interesting once you both reach level uh, 2. Mm -hmm. uh, I have something to say. Uh, sometimes, I don't know, I get Recton, I try to, instead of buying ward, I try to buy uh, anti ward. I mean, the, the red one. You mean the sweeper? Yes, yes. I try to go river bush and get the XP from that from enemy ward. If I get that, I can reach level 2 in the first wave. And if Renekton isn't paying attention, I can kill him. This time I didn't do because it's Jax, so I won't kill him. Now that is so I mm -hmm. walked war. Okay. Um That is very interesting. I've actually have not seen uh people, you know, take the sweeper, take the uh EXP from the ward and get level two first. I've I've not seen that before, but uh I would recommend actually doing that if you are against a jungler that doesn't have to gank early. But in this case, you're playing against Gragas, right? And Gragas even took uh, Predator, which means that he's going to be ganking a lot this game, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And one thing that you have to understand as a top laner is it's never just you and the enemy top lane. It's always going to be you, your jungler, and the enemy top lane and jungler, right? Right, so what a good top laner would do is always keep track of where your jungler is and where the enemy jungler might be. So in this case, uh, Lee Sin started blue side, right? Yes. And after he started blue side, he went immediately to his red and um, and, and now he's going to uh, um, probably go towards his uh, blue side or he might, you know, go to his Krugs and then decide to gank top, right? Now, yes. the thing is, uh, when you were playing this game, did you were you watching the bot lane? Uh, no. Now, yes, now that's a big problem. Uh, and why is that a big problem? It's because if the bot lane was... If the bot lane was leashing here, then you would know that Gragas is starting red, right? But because you were not watching bot lane, you didn't you don't know if they leashed, right? Yes. Right. So we have to go back a little bit actually. Because I don't know if I don't know how it's gonna go. You might get ganked at any moment, but I'm not I'm not gonna like spoil myself. So Minions have spawned. Okay. So let's wait for 130. Okay, so you're taking this buff, and bot lane's not here, but Kai'Sa is, right? So what does this mean? Uh, that means uh, Gragas now, Lysin started in red yes. or blue. He, so Gragas knows that Lysin started red or blue, right? Which means he... He can either go for Lee Sin's own blue right now after taking the red or you know if he's not safe here he might just go uh, back to top side and then decide to gank at level 3 after taking Wolves and, and Gromp. Who knows but what's important is that the enemy bot lane came later than, than um, Kai'Sa did right and that means that they definitely leashed for Gragas. Of course, it, it it's actually not definitely actually, sorry about that. It's more of like, there's a high chance they leashed for Gragas. Because sometimes bot lanes, they will not, uh, they will just fake the leash and Gragas might be doing it alone. But it's very rare for Gragas to do the camps alone. That only happens maybe like in pro play. But in solo queue, Gragas usually takes a leash. Okay? okay. So knowing that information, knowing that information, Gragas is probably heading towards Lee Sin's blue, right? That is the most uh, common thing to do because he saw that Kai'Sa was here first and, and Lee Sin didn't receive a leash. So he's probably doing this or this. So he's, you know, he could either go 
here or he could go top side if he's if he's kind of like dumb right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. so knowing that information uh there's a there's a chance that Gragas might come anyways at around level three after taking these these camps, right? And if that's the case, once you hit level two, so so you hit level two here, soon enough, right? I try to push and. Uh get the, my wave into his turret and make a movement, I think it's called it and then freeze I mean, I want to, in one minute I have all my wave on the turret I don't know if I have explained it correctly so, I don't think you should be pushing right now you already hit level 2 okay, uh, let, let me explain again so Yeah, but uh, if I don't push, it will be freezed by Jax. So I wanted to get my web and destroy it and uh, generate a slow push mm -hmm. for me. Okay, I, okay, I, wait I, a minute. L let me get this clear. So if you do not push this wave, you're telling me Jax will set up a freeze? Yes. Uh, but how will he do that? Uh, just... Uh, being in front of in front of turret, and if he do that, I will I will have to push all the way in front of his turret. Uh, well, I mean the way I look at it right now, Jax is half HP at the moment. If you if you just move towards here, he has to back because you're level two, right? Oh, yes. Right. So, what you can do here is instead of letting him make the freeze as you said uh by um uh, by you know uh tanking the minions what you can do is just move forward move forward around here and Jax has to be around here because he cannot contest level 2 volley bear he is level 1 Jax and he's and he's half health right so you have to push him away from the minion so that he doesn't hit level 2 understand yes right and and so, because he's not hitting level 2, you don't have to hard push this wave. You just have to last hit every single minion and create a slow push. Then, once you create this slow push, when the third wave comes, the cannon wave, then you can start hard pushing. And why is that so good? The reason why that is so good is because that will be a huge wave crashing into his turret and that will give you time to recall and when you recall and and you come back to the lane you will have maybe an extra um what what what, what would you buy with 450 gold on volley bear mm, i don't know maybe a sword a uh, long sword maybe and then, or yes Maybe a long sword, or maybe you can even get a ruby crystal, ruby crystal, and and like a control ward because it's seventy five gold. And Jax, yeah. you know, and Jax has to spend all of his time collecting that huge wave under his turret, and and then once you get back into lane, the wave will now push towards you, right? Right, because he just spent all of the time uh, collecting this huge wave that is in his turret. Now, once it's pushing towards you now, you can you know you can play safe. You can just back away and do the and you know freeze the lane if you want to. Okay, so that's why I don't want you to uh, hard push this wave because there is no way that Jax can actually freeze it. Jax will freeze it if he if he hits level two. But at the moment, you're way stronger than him. You have more health. You're level 2. You can just walk forward and prevent him from hitting level 2. Do you agree with me here or do you disagree with me here? Yes, I agree with you. Right? The thing way, if I 
hit the third wave. If I do the push on the third wave, I can back and boy. Right. Yes, yes. Right. So then, um, by the way, uh, I want you to be taking notes while we do this so that you don't forget. Or actually, the VOD will be up. So never mind then. It's fine. Yeah, you can take notes if you want. Uh, anyways, yeah. But instead, uh, but as I said, if you want to actually hard push that wave that I told you about, this one, you need to be careful because Gragas is going to hit level three, so you need to ward here. And that's why I was talking about the position of the jungler, uh, it both you, your team, and the enemy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. yes. Because if you start hard pushing this wave right here, it's going to be very risky uh, if Gragas comes. So you need to ward or at least this area, somewhere there. Um, and in order to do that, you know, you have to pay attention whether bot lane leashed or not. Okay? Le okay. The, the bot lane leash is important to understand where the enemy, enemy jungler is. And that will give you an idea of how to play your lane. Okay. Okay. So because imagine if if uh, the enemy had Karthus and he started blue, then you can play much more aggressively, right? Yes. Because he's not gonna come to your lane. He's he's gonna path like this, and go towards bot and then take the rift scuttler. So you can play much more aggressively, but because it's Gragas and uh, he received the bot lane leash, you have to be more careful, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay then, so let's just uh, get back into the gameplay and see what happened. Uh, I just noticed Brand <laughs> was DC this whole time. Okay, this ward I don't know if he... I could have put deeper, I mean. Uh, I think this ward is, is okay. Um, yeah, I think I think it's fine. You you don't want to lose lane pressure right now. Uh, whenever Jax gets this CS, you have to like kind of contest for it. Uh, the the problem is that you kind of push the wave too quickly with your passive, uh, right? Volibear's yeah. passive starts to push everything, <laughs> and that's not really good. So uh, this you know pressuring him here will be kind of difficult because the turret is there, but. It's it's still doable, right? Now you you want to hard push this, yes. Now you start you know pushing everything here. Use your E if you want to actually. I don't know why I'm saving the. Yeah, I you you shouldn't be saving your your E right now. Maybe it's, oh I see this thing, so I don't but I try to bait. The enemy jungle. Mm -hmm. and, and then appears on Raven. On right. And this is very good. Uh, I think he, while you were playing this game, you were taking note of where Beeson was on the map, right? Uh, you saw he mm -hmm. took uh, Gragas's blue, then went red, then went Scuttler, which means that he's going to pretty much help you, right? He's going to be helping you uh, just uh, with, the jungle, with the enemy jungler ganks, right? So, Jax cannot help, and Lee Sin is free to contest against Gragas. So you go. I say no, Lee Sin dies. I try to flash and get the kill. That's good! That's very good! I, now it's a free kill, Drop Jax out. does. He's able to escape, so... Well, it's okay, I have the lane perfect, I think. Yeah, I now... Mean, it will be so push him. Right, so so what happened there is totally fine. I think Lee Sin was playing a little bit uh, too close to the turret. If he played that's around around here, then you you can make it uh, you can make it faster. But that's fine. What happened there is totally okay. Uh, the the wave will now be pushing towards you, so you don't have to TP back to lane. Um, but here you have to recall. Yes, you have to recall. I don't know. What I'm doing. Okay. I'm trying to push this. Oh, okay. I have lost much time. No, it's okay. Uh, it it was like five seconds. Uh, it, it will get. It will become more important the higher you go, but this is fine. 
Uh, oh, I just now I have to TP because I lost any time. I think I guess. No, see, uh, the TP you used there was totally unnecessary. Um, and the reason why I say that is because look at look at the the wave uh, that is that is coming. It's yeah. a cannon wave, right? And, and a cannon wave is really difficult to push quickly so by the time you go back to your base and then walk back to lane uh, you will have a big wave here but you won't lose any minions so there there was no point of teleporting uh, here this is this is a waste of teleport yes. mm -hmm. do you it's, do you agree or I agree I agree mm -hmm. So, because this is a waste of teleport, uh, I, Jax also used his TP, but you don't know that, right? <laughs> so, let, let's just yeah. pretend that you cannot see the enemy summoner spells, but you don't know that Jax used his TP. So, you are at a disadvantage here, because now you you don't know how to play the lane anymore, because you don't know if Jax has TP, right? Yes. Imagine if Imagine if you... If you hard push the wave, let's say you guys, you hard push the wave here and there's like a bunch of minions here. And then you decide to tower dive Jax, but then it doesn't work out. And then you die, but then you realize that he has TP and then he TPs back to lane and then he collects all of the minions. Now that is not worth it at all, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's not worth it at all, but you did it because you thought, hey, if if he has to back here, then um, then he's going to lose all of those minions. So I might as well try to kill him there. But oh wait, he had TP. Now he can come back to lane. So it, yeah, it becomes uh, it, it's not a good scenario. So well, one thing that I want you to remember is do not use your TP. Uh, carelessly because your TP is as you know a very long cooldown skill at the moment is 400 seconds uh, yeah 400 seconds and this will this will go down as you level up the cooldown of the TP but in the early levels I do I don't want you to waste your teleport like this okay okay mm -hmm. all right So now you're back in lane, and you see that Jax has double buff, and he's creating a slow push at the moment. Um, I try to. It doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what I have bought. I don't know my items. Can we check it? Okay. I usually with 600, I try to buy dagger and boots. This time I bought the three one. I don't know if it's a good bull. Uh, I see. So you're asking me if you, if I think those starting items are good for Volibear, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I personally think having more HP in the early levels as Volibear is the best thing you can do. So in this case, you got armor, movement speed, and attack speed, right? Uh, yeah. I would have instead gotten a ruby crystal and a long sword and a control ward. Uh, yeah, I would have gotten those items instead. And Volibear, yeah. you, his skill set at, at this moment right now does not scale with attack speed. Your skills would do better, uh, your kit would do better if you had more HP. And if you had more attack damage, so uh, next time when you're when you're thinking about what to buy, uh, buy the item that will give you more HP because Volibear Volibear wants to uh, fight. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Fight as a bruiser, right? Uh, this is not just for Volibear. This is for almost all bruisers. You just stack up on HP first. Okay. Okay. All right. So here you're letting the wave push, and that's fine. Uh, do you know where Gragas might be? I think he should be in bot lane. 
because uh, he was on top uh, on top tie uh, like one minute so i think he should be in in, in both jungle mm, he might be fights. but you're not sure right yeah i'm not sure right and I think that will happen to you very frequently the higher up you go as a top laner is if the enemy top laner is creating a slow push with a massive wave like like the one Jax is building up it it will alert the jungler to dive you and Gragas is you know one of those junglers that wants to get ahead early he's like Elise or Leeson or Rek'Sai so in order to prepare for that, what you want to do is uh, either tri-bush. right. You want to ward the tribush, and you currently do have a um, a stack of ward here. So, if you ward the tribush, you will at least uh, know if he's coming or not, right? Uh, you don't want to yeah. you don't want to get caught surprised. Of course, uh, the other thing that you want to do if you don't want to uh, get behind too much is you can start pinging your jungler to come top your jungler is dead at the moment so after he revives he can start coming top uh, of course that will kind of delay his his clear but what's more important right <laughs> what's more important for uh, for you is to get ahead in the lane right and for you to be strong uh, so uh, just just spam ping your jungler. Hey hey, come come top, come top, come co come top. Help help help. You know this. The Gragas might dive me right now with this huge wave. We don't know what's going to happen. So, uh, yeah, and it's not like you can thin out the wave either. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. I try to W first in case he trades me. I have the the effects on him. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can land my E. That was a very good trade. Um, I think Jax misplayed that uh, because he didn't use his Counter Strike properly. Yes. Uh, and I'm surprised that Gragas didn't come yet. I think if he was here, you would have uh, died. Uh, maybe, maybe it would have been a little bit difficult. But I, th if the Gragas and the Jacks were playing properly, you you would already be dead here. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe I can show you some examples from from other uh, top lane games. Like, uh, have you seen the Shy's Callista, for example? Uh, I don't usually watch for a it's it's okay it's okay uh, what I wanted to say is the Shai's Callista would basically make like a huge wave like this and you will basically have to play uh, back in the turret but then he would call his jungler to come here and then and then you you would be dead right uh, and you know this will happen to you if you uh, play in the higher elos right so so in order to prepare for that you need to ward the tribush and also you need to tell your jungler to come help you Jax is vulnerable now because he misplayed it but uh, I'm just I just want to tell you to be more careful next time okay okay yeah I'm tanking so much the wave actually yeah, um, yeah. Try not to tank it too much. All right, so there's a fight oh, in the river. Fight? There, it's you. A... I didn't push the wave. Mm. Maybe I should have not. Well, let's see. Okay. Mm. I should have instead of. Try help if I maybe push the wave because I couldn't reach them. I mean, they end the team fight in mid. Maybe I should have pushed the wave. Uh, I don't agree with that. I think uh, you're going to help them there was the, the correct choice. 
And why I say that is because the wave that you're trying to push is, you know, it's a cannon wave. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Right? So this is not going to this is not going to push very quickly and if you if you go help them and then when you come back it's fine uh, you will you will not lose a lot of minions and even if you try to hard push this wave it's going to take you time so by the time Jax finishes up uh killing your mid and jungler he can probably come back to lane and then you know collect the CS anyway so uh one tip that I need you to know is unless you have like a uh, unless you have like a wave that is like really really big and it needs to crash right now so that Jax loses a lot of uh, EXP and gold um, if there is a fight going on in the river or in jungler where where your Lee Sin and your Gragas are fighting just go just go like your jungler will love you for it okay Okay. It might, and you won't lose that much by helping your jungler. You will instead give him more agency to help you out. Okay. Okay. But of course, imagine, imagine if it's like, like uh, the blue minions, and there's like a lot of blue minions, and then they are in front of your turret. Then do not go. That's not worth it, right? Mm, yes, I agree. You have to collect like I don't know, that like five hundred gold of of EXP yeah. and and, and uh, minion gold, right? You don't want to lose that. If you go help, if you go help Lee Sin and uh, that is fighting Gragas, and you have this big wave here, then that is totally not worth it. But in in cases like this, then it is worth helping. And just because it just because you were late doesn't mean that it wasn't the right decision. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I see you're trying to contest for for Scuttler here, and this is the wrong decision. This is bad. Uh, why am I saying this? Uh, I see the HP. Right, Azir is backing, and Yone is there, and he's pushing the wave. So it's going to be Yone Gragas versus you and Lee Sin, but. You also have to take into account Jax is, Jax is coming right now, right? You don't know where he is at the moment, but he's coming. Uh, let's let's actually reveal where he might be at the moment. Right, he's there. So it won't take him that long to reach uh, the river, and you know it will become a three versus two scenario. So this is the wrong decision here. Why did you want to uh, contest for the Rift Scuttler? Well, I thought we could win two v two. I think we could contest easily. I have huge <laughs> damage. I don't know. I just try to help listen. Right. Um. It can be done if it was only Yone, but uh, you also probably didn't take into account Yone's levels, right? Uh, I saw him. He was in six, so I. Decided it was a good way, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Right now we can win two v two, but if Jax comes, we are dead. Right. Oh, Brand, and... Brand is coming. Yeah, but he's a he's <laughs> level three. Yeah, he's level three, and I don't know if it's going to be that much of a difference. Um, yeah, you saw that Yone was level 5, but imagine if he took that cannon wave and he reached level 6. I don't know why he's not level 6, he should be after hitting that cannon wave, but maybe he misplayed the lane. Anyways, he's not level 6, but imagine if he hit level 6 with that, and you didn't see it, and you tried to help this, uh, you tried to contest for the scuttler, then you will be fucked because he has his ultimate, right? Yes, I don't know what his ultimate does, but surely uh, that's something. Yeah, it's it's like Yasuo's ultimate. Um, it it knocks you up, it does damage, and he is able to dash. But uh, I think Yone level six is quite scary, so you have to be very careful. Um, yeah, so this is this is the wrong wrong choice here. Um,
But fortunately, the enemy team was not very coordinated. <laughs> he got flushed, even. He, he didn't use any of his summoner spells, and Gragas actually didn't use any of his spells either. So fortunately, this worked out. But uh, just because it worked out doesn't mean it was the correct choice, right? And because you helped him do that, because you helped him do that, look look at the wave now. Uh, you you do want to push this, right? Okay. Uh, so come and freeze it. Yeah, you Jax Jax will freeze this wave. So after helping Lee Sin and Azir with whatever happened there, you should have just stayed in lane and pushed this out. You should have pushed this. And and then recalled, right? But instead, because you spent time trying to contest for the Rift Scuttler, now Jax has the ability to freeze this wave. And that is a very, very bad scenario for you, right? Maybe I should ask for help to listen to push the wave, but... But I don't think he can do it alone, right? <clears throat> yeah, you, you bo both of you have to come and, and push this wave. Um, but Gleason is not your duo, right? No. Yeah. Um, I think they'll... Well, let... Yeah, so because you don't think that you can... You can confidently push this, you decide to recall instead, right? Yes. And that is a bad scenario for you. So... Uh... So yeah, trying to help for the Rift Scholar there was the wrong decision and instead pushing this wave so that you can comfortably recall without Jax freezing the wave would have been the better decision, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, I'm curious how much... Okay, so you decide not to recall. But this is oh. risky. This is, this is risky. Yeah. Uh, I don't know... You know, Gragas might still be around. Yes, he should be trying to land top. I try to crash, I should be back now. I don't know. <laughs> Gragas should gang now, I don't know why I'm pushing that. Yeah, um... Yes, so as you said, you didn't have to push those 3 melee minions for this wave, right? Uh, you you achieved your goal of crashing this wave into the turret, right? Yes. So you so you're good to go. Um, Too risky, I think. Yeah, if that was. Gas, if Gas have more than eight TQ, he would gank. So. Yes, this this was really risky. Uh, thankfully, Gragas is, you know, uh, Gragas is not playing very well at the moment. And also, Jax didn't decide to, you know, basically, he didn't decide to try to kill you. He could have. He's full health. He has Conqueror. Uh, you're running low on mana. Uh, he could have killed you 10 seconds ago if you wanted to, even with all of those minions there. Uh, but you were basically saved by the uh, incompetence of the enemy team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so I would say that's kind of lucky. I don't know if he can freeze this actually. Um, I think. I don't think no, he can. He isn't even trying. Well. Yeah, he can't do it. Alright. So you go back and then you purchase Ninja Tabbies. Uh, I don't agree I with this. Gragas. Yeah. Gragas. I don't know if he is the better option. Yeah, I, I don't. Agree with this option, Ninja Tabbies. Um, I don't agree with it buying it now. I think it would have been better if you got yourself a Phage or a Sheen, you know, so that you can complete your Trinity Force faster, right? Yes. And it will give you uh, more power in the lane if you had Phage or Sheen. You're go you're going Trinity Force, right? <laughs> not not to be mistaken. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to run the force. Mm -hmm. So now the wave is slow pushing towards you. Um, Gragas could come right now, but instead he doesn't. And I try to freeze with my 
Yeah, uh, I really like how you um, then thinned out the wave and you didn't let it crash to your turret. That's really good. Uh, yeah, that's that's very good. Okay, cool. I can, I can use my W. This Jax is playing really scared. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing really scared, right? He didn't have to uh, cube back to the minions. Because you, you used your E, you used your Q, you used your W, and he's not wounded, right? Is he wounded? Uh, yes, I think yes. Okay. Uh, because I used W before. Okay. And that's why I tried to trade. Hmm. Okay. I can't wait, but if he's wounded, wouldn't he have like a mark around him? Uh, let's check it. Try I get 10 seconds before? Mm. Okay. <laughs> ah, no. No, I use E. And right now, I think I use W. See, he didn't get wounded, right? Yes. He didn't. He, right now, he is wounded, I think. He is wounded? Yes, I think yes. Try but... to put the... Put a right click on him. I mean left click. Yes, he's wounded. Okay. So, your W still applies the wound effect even if Drax is counter-striking, right? Yeah. Well... I I used W just before the the gun strike. Okay, all right, all right. That that clears that clears some things. Um, let me erase that. All right. So if we fight now, we I could win him. I think. Do you think so? Yes, yes. I think Bolivar is broken. If you use the second W. You can destroy the enemy. Uh, what if he, what if he used his ultimate, and you know he has this entire wave helping him as well, and also you have to take into account the conqueror stacks, and also his his ultimate passive, right? His every third, uh, auto attack does a lot of damage, right? Mm. Well, uh, it, well it... It... yes. I mean, if he uses ultimate, I will just go to my turret and next after kill him. Okay. I win him if he doesn't have ultimate. So. All right. He's waiting to counter strike because he knows even I can win him. But I don't know, man. Uh, can you win him? <laughs> right now, right now, I think no. <laughs> I think no. Right now. I don't have GP, so I'm fucking. Uh -huh. I know he can try to aim me. Exactly. Yes. So. Um. You saw what had what just happened, right? Yes. Um. And I noticed I know. that's that's what I thought would happen. Even if you, you know, even if you go ten seconds back. Uh, and you're here, right? <clears throat> Let's see. I I feel like if he just kept fighting with his ultimate, he would have still got. Uh, he he would have still won. He, yes. You you back away from the turret, but then you know he's still he's still in a good position. You might be able to kill him with your ultimate. Um. But he has flash as well. Um. I just see a lot of scenarios where Jax can probably outplay Volibear. Yeah. Volibear's ultimate is very slow, right? Everyone can see it coming. It's like, ooh, boom, right? And that's enough time for Jax to flash away and then go back in with his Q, right? Yeah, I just don't see a scenario where you can win him, but instead he decides to back off and uh, he kills you in this rotation. I haven't got CP, so this time I'm fucked. He will kill me probably. I should have back now. Lost the that mini. 
what do you think about should, what happened here? I should have backing even if I lost a win, I was going to die if I stay only. And uh, do you think you did you expect that to happen? Yes, I was playing. I was trying to play behind turret because I know I knew he will be trying to die me. But I thought with my my ear, I could alive be alive, survive the the only. Hmm. Now we can go back a little bit to understand how he killed you, and I think it all starts here. Um. So you guys are just playing the lane, and if you kept. Uh, on this side, yes, I walked uh, into his on this right. Maybe I should have waited. Yeah. See, you're you're already half health now because of the way you traded there, and. One rule that you need to understand is you do not want to trade when there's like a bunch of minions behind them because then they'll all start attacking you, right? Yes. And that w you might not think it's a lot, but it will chunk your health like an extra 15%. Um, those are just numbers I made up, but anyways. It, because you are half health at this moment, and the wave is pushing towards you, you are in a bad scenario. And I think this is not just the only thing that happened, right? You continue to get harassed by Jax. Yeah, I, I don't understand why you're trying to push the wave here. I, maybe I throw grab. Oh, wait, grab a support. I don't know why. I'm a, I yeah. So every time you try to go for the minions, he just pokes you, right? And now you are at 20% HP, right? Yeah. So what you could have done instead is you could have waited this wave to crash to your turret and then just taking it. Um, just You could have just taken it under your turret. And as you said, uh, it's hard to kill Volibear when he has his ultimate, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, I think if you were in this scenario and Gragas was nearby, you would have died, but uh, that's why it's very important to have a pink ward or a just a regular ward in the tri-bush. You, you understand what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. Yeah, so when you're playing as a top laner um, on red side, it is absolutely important to have a pink or a regular warden tri bush, because if Gragas came right now, you would you would be dead, you would have died. Uh, yeah. e even if you had your ultimate, you would have died to Jax Gragas under the turret, and you would have missed all of the minions there. But instead, you decided to trade for the minions and got this low, so. What I would tell you to do is next time don't try to don't try to trade for the minions Just let it crash under the turret and safely collect it under the turret if Gragas comes well There's nothing you can do about that yeah. All you can do is ward and hope for the best you have to outplay the dive, <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, you said you don't watch a lot of competitive play, but if you do watch some of them, I don't know if you have a team you like to watch, like Fnatic maybe, you see that Whipple gets dived like this so many times, right? And yeah. he somehow outplays it. He doesn't just like back off. He outplays the dive so that at least one person dies with him. But this didn't, this didn't happen and you got solo killed instead, which is worse. So another thing is I don't want you to use your E like that. Uh, do not use your E to. What well, what was the point of using the E there? I was thinking he was trying to get the minion, so I decided to force. Maybe, nah. If he will jump, he will kill me. Oh uh, well, I mean, this is a very insignificant minion. It's worth fourteen <laughs> gold. And if you think about it, the 14 gold is not worth your 300 gold, right? Yeah, um, you, uh, yeah uh, I think 
you have a lot of learning to do in terms of in terms of wave management. You get what I mean? Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, I've I've coached your uh, your your friend Vega, uh, the ADC main, and we went through so many like vods of how to manipulate waves, and he's gotten better at it. And I think you have to do the same thing because uh, it's even more important for top lane to be able to manage the waves actually, because top lane is uh, a very volatile uh, position, right? It, it really depends on the matchups. If you are playing Jax, then if you manipulate your waves poorly, it's bad. But if you were playing Maokai, if you were playing against Maokai, then it's okay because you can just chomp him down, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think we, you have a lot of uh, learning to do in terms of how to manipulate your waves. I didn't expect you would die here actually. Uh, I was also surprised with the damage. <laughs> I think you were as well, right? Yeah, and... What can I say? You also used your flash kind of not that nicely. <laughs> Because um, yeah. if you used your flash over here, then he has to absolutely also flash over here. Oh, sorry, the camera keeps spanning. Yeah, but anyways, um, I think I think you understand what I'm talking about, right? Yes. Yeah, and now because you got solo killed, um, you're gonna lose a lot of uh, a lot from yeah. it. Yes. He, Jax will start snowballing out of this lead and you know he should back I don't, I don't know why he's still here he should back okay I don't want to be uh, I don't want to be pessimistic but if this was uh, maybe like master tier and this happened to you you would you would have already lost lane yeah. Right? You're two levels behind. Um, Jax probably got around 1000 gold worth of uh, money and that would mean that at the moment he has he has a bilge water cutlass. Um, I don't know if he can build the Bork yet but he might be able to once he backs. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, this is just a very, very dire situation for you. So. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but well, I think now I try to get right. Yes, this is good. This is good. I like the decision of hard pushing this wave. So you can just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. I think you can get one more. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have to back. Uh, you have to back. <laughs> it's, it's it's risky. No, 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 no. Uh, see, uh, y this this thing that you keep doing is you keep hitting the wave when it's under the turret. Uh, why are you doing this? I don't know. Uh, I can, I play too the Yorick, which I can manipulate the wave correctly. But when I play Bolivar, I don't know. I just I stop thinking and just just push. Yes. Now, when you're gonna play ranked, and if you wanna climb, we cannot do this. We have to start playing every game focused. Yeah. Okay. Every decision you make will affect you. The decision to push this wave here makes it so that Jax will have an easier time uh, freezing the wave because you know your minions will now take care of these minions faster, right? So yeah. every, every decision you make in the game, uh, I want you to think about it, right? What is my benefit of going f of, of targeting these minions? There is no well, benefit, right? No. 
right now I'm just thinking the scene is coming, so I have to maybe wait, but the isn't the best option just to push that way. Right. And also this pushing these minions also gives time for Gragas to come behind you if he ever does come with Predator, right? Predator Gragas is is really fast. He's going to surprise surprise you if you're not careful so yeah make sure that every decision you make in the game has some uh, reason behind it so here listen listens here and you, you should just fight you should just fight here I bet him uh, we <laughs> so that's good um, I try to obey the counter strike and just uh, we can kill him easily. Yes. So uh, the way you handled that there was was good. Um, unfortunately, though, because Jax has TP, he's not going to lose a lot of uh, turret plates. But I think well, he. Like, I think one plate maybe. Yeah, yeah one one damage. plate. Will be passive to get turret. Yeah. So and he TPs back. Now you have to recall here. I and to wait on the turret because I don't know if he will chase me. Yes, so this is good. Um, I have TP, so I don't care about back in bush or back in mm -hmm. turret. Now, let's see the items you got. So you got a phage and a stinger, I think that's the name of it. And you TP back yes. to lane. Um, One thing to note is if you do not if you don't see Jax pushing your lane right now, like if Jax, Jax, if he's here and he's, you know, taking down the turret, then the decision to TP right now is okay. But you don't see him here. So what's the point of TPing back? Uh, is it to collect these small minions? Mm, yeah, I think that wasn't the best TP. I was trying to just not get too much behind. Every minion can be, but TP is important. Maybe I should come with TP. See, I, there's one thing that you need to understand. You do not win Jax 1v1 anymore. Yeah. Right? Jax will just keep on getting stronger, and because of his counter strike, you basically cannot win uh, any trades at all. Um, maybe if he fucks up and you're able to land your W and Q, but. Other than that, it's just really difficult for Volibear to actually win a 1v1 against Jax. So, because that is the case, you know, you might be thinking, you know, if I get these minions, you know, I, I maybe sometime later in the game, I can be more impactful, right? Uh, because now I'm not too behind Jax, but what's more impactful, actually, is if you save your TP... And this TP can be used to help your team, right? Jax doesn't have TP. Yeah. So let's say your team is going for a uh, third dragon. And the third dragon is going to be like uh, Infernal. Then you are here, Jax is here. And then, and then they are doing a 4v4 around the dragon. And then you back to your turret and you start TPing. And then because you were there you ace uh you you kill four people and you get the dragon and you're gonna lose your turret but it's not that big of a deal because by that time it will be over 14 minutes so there will not be any more turret plates right yeah right so having your tp as a top laner having tp advantage as your top laner is the best thing you can do for your team Right? Right. Mm -hmm. What I really don't like seeing is seeing wasted teleports. Not just as a top laner, but also as a mid laner and sometimes even as an ADC. Some ADCs take teleport and then they use it really, really badly. Uh, so that's one thing that you need to learn how to do properly, right? Assess the situation. If you don't think you need to use the TP here, TP here don't use it. In this case, you didn't have to. Uh, maybe you didn't play enough games um, 
to understand this, but having the TP advantage is very, very useful. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right now, I is, I know they are going to get her, so maybe I try to push the lane the way. Right, but, but there's no way you can you can contest for Harold. Look at the position of your teammates. Yeah, I can contest. You cannot do it, right? Um, maybe if Azir comes, but uh, at the moment there might be three people here, right? There might be Yone, Gragas, and Jax, and it will it will still be a two v three. So there's no way you can contest for the Herald. Yeah, you, you have to take these things into consideration, right? Not just your own lane, but what's happening everywhere around the map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, once the laning phase is over, we will just uh, skip towards the team fights, I guess. And I want to see how um, you... You handle the team fights. So just right now I'm trying to push. Oh, that's me. So I I should decide to push. I don't know if I win John one by one. Right. But this is a good decision. Uh, you do want to push this since Jax is mid. Uh, but this is very Gragas risky. Is uh, Gragas is bot, but this is still very risky because uh, Jax might be heading towards top and Yone might also be heading towards top because Yone you don't see where he is right no yeah well, uh, he was a big knight I don't know if we, I saw him on map maybe he was what I don't know uh I, I mean the ignite will ha it has been a while already uh but like you don't know right you don't know if he used ignite he, um do not look at the enemy summoner spells yeah, I mean, when I was playing, I don't know if he I saw John in bot. I don't remember, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, but this is very risky. I think at least you need to ward this bush here. Or if you want, you can ward the one here. With this. Against Jax, I think. If I'm just against Jax, this is ward. And I think. I mean, if he comes by a river, I can just escape. If it's only Jax. Really? Hmm, okay. Jax is coming again and I decided to start waiting him. Now you see Lisa is behind you, right? So... Yeah. I can see him all the way. He was on the strike. Oh, this is very good. Um, I decided to duck the turret and let Lisa try... Well... Well, <laughs> maybe it was because I didn't work the jungle. Well, if that's I could, maybe it wouldn't happen. Yeah, I mean, I, I I don't place too much blame on you there. I think you played it okay there. Um, but listen, trying to get the jacks there was very risky, and that's his fault. So. What you did there was fine. It was, it was Leeson's fault that he died. You know, every time your jungler comes, you want to respond to their gank. So what you did there was good. Uh, unfortunately, Jax gets more fed because of Leeson's mistake. He's coming to top again. And I don't remember if we could hold him. Well... Um, nah, he just jumped. You... You... You weren't able to help him because you tried to get the cannon minion, right? Yeah. You were thinking, uh, you know, I want to get these minions um, under the turret, so you spent some time Let's let's look at that again actually. Yeah, so you were here and if you just Yeah, if you just kept running, I think it would have worked. Yeah. If I I have flash even. If I Uh you know you don't have flash. Oh, oh. 
and you don't have it yet. Um, but I think it would have worked if you didn't like spend uh, a few seconds there, because then you might have you you might have been in range of of Lee Sin's kick. Wait, let's watch that again, actually. It's three seconds. Uh, I think I will wish him. So you use your Q here, but then uh, if you didn't take the minions, you would already be here. You get what I mean? Yeah. You would already like land your Q here, but you know he's counter struck at the moment. Um, but at least you're closer to him, right? Uh, well, what, whatever, it's fine. Um, it's unfortunate. You, yeah. Maybe he will stun me, um, it will be the same. Yeah, yeah. I think Lee Sin went a little bit too quickly. Whatever. And now I think I can get power. Oh, this is, you know, your jungler is helping you a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's helping you yeah. a lot because of how, I yeah, and I, I, I could get all the all the plates. You know? Yeah, because of how much your jungler is helping you, you know, you're not that far behind in terms of gold. I think. Yeah, because yeah. you were able to get the entire turret. Uh, yeah, you, you should honor your jungler after this. <laughs> but if it if your jungler was looking bot side instead of top side, then you would have been in a much worse situation. I'm not trying to uh, jungler. I'm pinging listening. Yeah, this is fine. I think you can kill him here. Okay, I don't know for the champ. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Okay. All right. So now that the laning phase is over, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the team fights around big objectives like the dragon and the baron, and we'll see how it goes. Okay. I know I lost one v one against Jeffs. Yeah. Yeah. So I, um, I now I to sell my top turret if it's necessary mm -hmm. and get it right. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do in the mid game as Volibear? Uh, can you tell me? Uh, just push the wave on side lane and pass to my team. Yeah, I don't know if we are trying to get Drake. I want to push both and gather with my team. Right. Uh, but what if Jax is in the same lane as you? I have to let him push because I can't win right now. Right. So basically, you want to play on the opposite side of Jax. Yeah. If Jax is top lane, you want to play bot lane. If Jax is bot lane, you want to play top lane. And you always want to save your TP. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so now the second dragon is coming up, I think. And you guys decide to go for it. I think we'll lose it. I try to search uh, Gragas to avoid him to steal. And right now... Mm, well, maybe I say to Asim, he, uh, he's going to drop Asim, uh, so I'm trying to push him. There's no way you can push mid, by the way. Yeah. They have. They are poking me. Yeah. Um. Uh. When you're playing top lane, one thing that you need to know is, you want to stay in the side lane almost like ninety nine percent of the time. That way, you are useful as a top laner, because someone has to come. Um, deal with the waves right yeah so when do you want to push mid lane together with your team is usually yeah. after after a big objective right after you take baron or after you take elder dragon and you want to fight then you can group up with your team
but in this case, uh, yeah, it's there's no chance for you to actually push this wave, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you you're wasting time here, and you also have to back because you're low. Yeah, so you need to recall and then go, go answer Yone. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Sorry, that right was now, too quick. I notice uh, how there is escape because Lissin tried to force so early. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I see just top lane, so I know I can push the next one. Yeah, Yone has to recall, so... Is that coming towards? Mm, no. I can push. Okay. Now this is exactly what you want to be doing. You just want to collect the side waves, and then when you need it, you have to TP. Uh, I don't know if he's, he's pink hit. Uh, you're in a very dangerous situation here. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa. Whoa. Zerath, Zerath ultimate? <laughs> oh, he didn't use it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, You. That was very risky, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next time? Uh, just don't go into the enemy jungle. There is nothing you will gain from doing that. So, after you push your side wave, just back off. Okay? Okay. Alright. Now, I think you will be doing this for a large majority of the time. So, um, let's skip to the team fights now. Well, I have TP. Uh, let's see. Okay. Why is it? Something uh, right going now on. I'm watching the minimap. Yes. Okay. I'm We can, but now. Uh, Jax is dead, so I can manage to think of One fact is, uh, as it was just. Uh, going to me, but mm. okay, let's watch that in slow motion. Oh, my team was flaming a seal because he was going just me. <laughs> <laughs> See, TP here, just come. Um, See, okay, well, let me let me tell you something. Uh, so, where was it? No, that's too much. When I see this... When the, mom the, moment, the moment you see this, you should not TP. They are 100% inting, your teammates are inting, and they're throwing the game, and if, if you TP there, you would have died. Oh, okay, okay. Right? Yeah. There's... It seems, uh, Look, Gragas is coming, and... Right now, Gragas flash and we'll die. Yeah, if, if, if e, e flash, Q, they're, they're all dead, so... Of course, you want to help your team if they're in trouble, but this is hopeless. You need to learn to understand the situation, right? Uh, yeah. If you TP here, you will die, which is what happened, right? Even if Jax didn't come, Caitlyn and Zerath would have certainly killed you off, so... Yeah, um, I just think you also need to work on deciding when to go with your TPs, right? Because because you died here, it it really set everyone far, be, uh, far back, not just for yourself. I 
try to kill him, but uh, he have much left still. <laughs> yeah. This try is something, but yeah. I mean, look look at Jax. He's just he's just so fed right now. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's move on to. Let's see. Let's move on to a little bit afterwards. Okay. So you guys are in. Oh wait, you guys all died already. Let me fall back a little bit more. Okay. Right now, after you do the same, try to go melee. I'm trying to flank. Wow, that life steal. Yeah. Oh. Well, in team fight, I wanted to ultimate to the wall because I predicted the shadow flash, but I couldn't get through the wall. Right. It's slow. Right. I tried to help her, Risa, but I think I didn't do anything. It's just hopeless, as you said before. Yeah, um, I think <laughs> you guys are 10k gold behind and uh, it's Jax, right? There is no stopping Jax. No one can contest him in the side lane anymore. So yeah, the game is pretty much over and I'm glad we we went over this particular game because it, if, I, if I looked at the game where you went like 15 to 13, uh, I think that game you wouldn't have learned a lot, right? Yeah. Because you were stomping the enemy, and I think when you stomp the enemy, it it's a indication that the enemy was really really bad. <laughs> I would say. But in this case, I think the Jax wasn't particularly that bad either, and you weren't doing that bad either. But um. There were a lot of decisions that you made that made it harder for you to come back into this game, right? Even though Lee Sin helped you a lot, you still cannot contest Jax in the side lane, right? So Yeah, 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 that's right, me. That's yeah, right. yeah, so because you cannot contest Jax in the side lane, what is your only win condition? Your only win condition is to team fight better than Jax, right? If you're not going to do that, then why pick Volibear, right? Your ultimate is sometimes game-changing. And if you're not able to land your ultimate, then it's it's pointless, right? Uh-huh. Um, so, yeah. um, let, me, let me try to think about this. I have a lot I want to tell you, but... I don't want to overload you with information. I think you've already uh, <laughs> learned a lot today, so I don't know if I want to keep talking. What do you... Uh, how do you well, feel about it? Well, I have to go in 30 minutes, I, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, as you want. We can oversee the game and finish it. All right. Okay, then let's wrap it up. Um, okay, I want you to summarize what uh, we went over today, just so that I can uh, see whether you were listening or not. Okay. Uh, I have in paper, I have pointed a third way. When I play Bolivar, I have to think about the third wave and the free back then. I have I try to help jungler. With Bol with Bolivar, I should try to help jungler instead of push. My champ is huge at early game, so I should try to use it to help my jungler. And I think about the tips I have to do. I can TP if the wave is just a slow push into my turret because I will lose a uh, a good a good resource. 
I think yes. I, that's all I have. Just in paper. Okay. Do you remember anything else? Well, about the game, I think I I I have to concede pushes. I can fight some pushes because the minion can destroy me, and in matchups like against Jax, he can destroy me when he have say six or seven minions. I have to ward tribus, and basically I have to ward enemy jungle and mine to avoid the gank and dive. And I have to think uh, to think where I should be, according to if I can win one by one to the enemy to cleaner, or I can't. Mm -hmm. If I can, I have to pin him. I have to go against him. If I can't, I should uh, get my TP. Don't use it and just use it when he is uh, just trying to destroy Charles. I have to help him. Uh, if I can, if he's just hopeless, I can, I should stop trying to help and just, I don't know, maybe push or back. Mm -hmm. Think if I can help them. Okay. Um, all right. Anything else? Well, uh, I'm thinking. Mm, right now, I don't remember just now. Uh, more, I think. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think one of the most important things that I wanted you to uh, take away is the tracking of the enemy jungler in the early game. This might not seem very important in the game that we reviewed, but I, uh, I, I play in the Korean server and things are done very very differently there compared to how they are done in EU West and in my server people in the top lane die 90% of the time to the most obvious ganks and that's because they don't keep track of the jungler and I I think you know it might not happen right now but it will happen eventually once you reach higher elos right so in order for you to be able to track the jungler better you need to pay attention to the leash of the uh, of the enemy bot lane right yeah if you see that the enemy bot lane leashed for Lee Sin, Elise, Gragas then you know that Lee Sin, Elise, Gragas will go towards top lane at level 3 so you need to ward and you, and you need to play you need to manipulate your wave in a way so that you don't die to that gank, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And... What else was there? Yeah, and also you have to take into account the position of your own jungler. If your own jungler is going to leash from, bot, uh, from blue, like if you're on red side and then uh, your jungler takes blue, then goes red, uh, blue, krug, uh, blue, Gromp, then red, then goes top lane, then you can play more aggressively because even if you get ganked, your jungler will be there to help you, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, that is one of the most important things that I want you to learn, uh, along with all the other stuff that we already learned. And uh, yeah, it, it was because this is our first uh, session together, it definitely was a lot of information that you need to process and that you need to take into account but as you get better in the game as you take into account all of the things that you learn uh we don't have to talk as much like the yeah we don't uh you, you can focus on more fine details like oh uh, maybe you shouldn't have gone for the for the uh combo there or maybe uh, you could have like pushed the turret quicker or something like that, you know uh, Instead of thinking about ah, that was a bad TP. Ah, you should have warded there because those are more simple concepts, right? And yeah. What I want you to do is reduce down the, the amount of mistakes you make when it comes to Like the simple things like the way you use TP or the way you uh, play with your wave or you know warding 
Now I want you to reduce that and you will become a top laner if you do. Uh, you will become a better top laner if you do. Okay? okay. Yeah. Yeah, but other than that, I guess that's it. Um, yeah, um, do you have any else? Uh, do, you, do you have anything else you want to say? Well, uh, I think... I think no. Mm, the, I wanted to review Bolivar, that what I said to you. Mm -hmm. Because I blind picked him uh, like 100% if enemy team doesn't ban it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if you know what other top laner I should bring P. Some time ago, I go, I I use it to bring P Jorik or Urgot because Jorik has uh, almost no counter matchup, and Urgot is useful in every in every in every time of the game. Uh, okay, so you want a suggestion for a blind pick top laner? Yeah, uh, if I had to blind pick, maybe we should see the next session if we have a game where I blind pick um, Yorick, maybe, or Urgos. Yorick and Urgot, hmm. I'm not a big fan of either. <laughs> Top lane champion. I would have chosen some other top lane champion. Like I think good blind picks maybe um Renekton. I I think Renekton's good in solo queue. Um and he's easy to play too. Mm, Camille is another one. And maybe Yeah, I think those two. High mobility, high damage, good split push power, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't. I'm not good playing fighty fighty champs. I mean, if I get ganked in early by the enemy jungler, obviously if I war, it reduces the the chance of getting killed by gang. But well, yes, if I war correctly, maybe I can make it to play Ranekton, Camille, risky champs who can decay in the game. Yeah, I think I should 